Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. So this is our new week of meal preps. On the menu, we have breakfast berries and cream oatmeal with a little bit of Greek yogurt and berries. Lunch, we're doing a Hawaiian slash Hawaii style lunch. So we're doing kalua chicken in the instant pot and we're doing lomi lomi tomato. I didn't put any salmon in that because we're trying to keep it low calorie, right? We're on a cut, we're on a shred. So low calorie means just tomatoes, some green onions and some salt. Dinner is my Big Mac tacos that I love so much. I had to do it again. I just had to. It's so freaking good. I tweak the sauce a little bit and it's even better. You guys are going to love it. Dessert. You can do it one of two ways. You can do it as a shake. Just shake it up and drink it. If you have a Ninja Creamy like me, I'm looking at it right now, you can make it, freeze it, make it in your Ninja Creamy. It's up to you. So we have three meals and one dessert. Everything is 140 grams of protein per day. Everything under 1400 calories. And let's get a cooking. Let's go. Hey y'all, let's get started with our breakfast. So here, I'm just gonna put a good sized saucepan on the heat. We're gonna put all the milk, all the oats, a little bit of vanilla extract and some salt. And we're just gonna let it cook. It's gonna take a while because it is a lot of oatmeal. So I decided to do this first because we not only need it to cook, but we also need it to cool. Okay, while that cooks, we're gonna go and get our Instant Pot. You're gonna put a cup of water, some salt. You don't have to use Hawaiian salt, but you can. Some liquid smoke in mesquite flavor, and we're gonna seal it and cook it for 45 minutes and just let it go. I'm just here prepping the fruits for our breakfast oatmeal bowls so i just have some strawberries and some frozen banana absolutely want to watch your oatmeal and stir it every few minutes so i just poured it on that sheet pan so it could cool quicker but while that's cooling we're gonna keep going with our meal preps we don't want to stop for anything let's just get this done and get out of the kitchen so here i'm just putting my three ounces of greek yogurt in every container and then I'm gonna add a little bit of stevia to sweeten it a little bit. You don't have to, it's really up to you. You can use whatever sweetener you want or none at all. This yogurt that I chose is delicious. So you really don't need a lot. I just did a little bit of stevia and then I'm adding my strawberries on top of my yogurt. And the banana, I decided to just mix it in the oatmeal because it's frozen, it's looking really sad. So I just put it in there, covered it with some protein powder and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of oatmeal at a time so that way it doesn't overflow or spill or make a mess. So I just put one scoop each and then I'm gonna stir in the protein powder as best as I can. I use the brand um, from Flav City. I love, love, love his protein powders. It's not just like a protein shake, it's a protein smoothie. It's really, really thick, it's flavorful. It's made with wholesome, real food ingredients. So it has like strawberries and banana and it's like top of class ingredients in that stuff. So I absolutely love that brand. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend. I'm just gonna move forward and keep mixing all of my oatmeal in, make sure everything is nice and incorporated, cover with my coconut flakes and then be done with it. And over to the Big Mac tacos, I just threw all of my organic ground turkey into a pan and I'm gonna start frying it with some salt and pepper. But for now, let's take a quick break because I need some coffee. This is the coffee that I drink every single day, you guys. I do two servings, but I also started with one. So one serving is a tablespoon. I'm gonna do two tablespoons in my drink here and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it when I do an iced coffee. So I know it looks like a lot, but that's actually just a teaspoon size. So I'm gonna do six teaspoons, which is two tablespoons, so don't worry. It is two servings. And then on the bottom of that glass, I have some hot water, not boiling water, just hot from like the water dispenser. And I'm gonna mix it up, make sure everything gets well incorporated. And then I'm gonna put lots and lots of ice because I'm not adding any water or almond milk. I'm trying to keep it as low calorie as I can because we are on a shred, remember? So I'm gonna load it with ice and then I'm gonna add my nut pods. I am obsessed with that creamer. That is the only creamer I buy. I can only find it at about two or three stores in the area, depending if it's in stock or not. And that is my go-to. It's already sweetened, it's sweetened with stevia, but it's the same amount of calories as the nut pods that are also not sweetened. So I was like, you know what? Heck yeah, I want the nut pods that are sweetened so I don't have to worry about adding extra calories 
when this one has the sweetness and the nut pods all in one for the same amount of calories. So I'm just gonna dump it right in and look at how beautiful the color becomes in the coffee. And that's about half a cup of creamer. The ice is gonna make up for the rest of the liquid and kind of fill it up for me. And then I'm gonna top it with some Cool Whip or whipped cream, it's up to you. I used whipped cream this time, sugar-free whipped cream, and I'm going to enjoy the crap out of this. <laughs> it's up to you, you don't have to mix it, you can leave it the way it is. It's really how you like to drink your coffee. I want everything incorporated and nice and creamy and sweet, so I decided to mix it, and then I'm gonna top it with my whipped cream, just a little bit, just for you guys, for aesthetics, because I don't normally drink it with that topping. <laughs> So just for you guys, I put that on there and then yeah, here it is. Super easy to make, super quick. It took me less than, I don't know, a minute to make this drink and it's so good. It gave me so much energy and it just boosts your mood. I get better sleep, my hair and nails grow really quickly. And if you use my link that I'm gonna leave in the description, you will get five three travel packs. So don't forget to use that link because free is also Awesome! Why not? Okay, back to the cooking. So I'm just stirring around and breaking up little pieces of my ground turkey and it's pretty much done. Instant Pot is also done right about now. So I'm just gonna depressurize it right away. And then we are gonna mix it right in that broth. Typically I take it out and then I divide it and then I put some of the broth after I reduce it. But because we are short on time, I just decided to leave all of the broth and the chicken, break it all up in here, separate it, pour whatever liquid is left into the glass jars so that way I can still eat it, or not glass jars, but into my meal prep containers. And then I can just, you know, put my rice in there or scoop it over some rice and eat it that way. I love the broth, the broth is so good. So I decided to just leave it in all of it this time. Okay, so for the dinner, I'm just gonna put all of the turkey in one container and pull the amount that I need every time I need a meal. So every dinner, I'm just gonna pull that out, take what I need, heat it up, and then make my meal. Okay, next thing, whoo, we're going really fast today. This is our sauce for our dinner, for our Big Mac sauce. This is it right here, and I love that chopper. I just got it from Costco, highly recommend. So we're gonna get some pickles. Also, a reminder, all of the ingredients and everything you need, measurements and all, will be in the description. So don't even worry about trying to catch it all now. I just wanted to walk you guys through the process and show you how easy and quick this is to make these delicious, nutritious, dense, nutritionally dense meals. So the sauce came together in less than a few minutes. I put all the ingredients along with the chopped pickles, just mix them all up, put it in a container and get it out of here. Okay, next thing we're gonna make our lomi lomi tomato. So cut the tomatoes in half, don't do what I did. I did a whole tomato and it squirted everywhere. So cut them in half and then chop them to your desirable size, normally bite size. I'm putting all the tomatoes in there and it actually fit, this chopper is really bomb. Putting it in a bowl and then I'm gonna get some green onions and chop that. Typically lomi lomi salmon has green onions, white onions, salmon, raw salmon and tomato. I can't do white onion because of my IBS, but if you can handle white onion, I highly recommend it. It tastes so much better. And then I'm just adding some Hawaiian salt. You can add whatever kind of salt you want. Just taste it for flavor or for saltiness, I should say. Mix it all up and you want to massage it because lomi lomi means to massage. You want to massage the tomatoes so they're nice and soft. Next thing is our lettuce, self-explanatory. Chop the baby up, whatever size you wanna eat it. This is for our Big Mac taco, so I want it pretty small. I'm gonna take it, rinse it, spin it to get it as dry as possible, and then put it in a mason jar. It will keep so long like this. This past week, my recipe had the same thing, and my lettuce was perfectly fine. Adding our two ounces of rice in every container. For our kalua pig, I'm sorry, kalua chicken and lomi lomi salmon. This is our lunch meal here. So I'm just adding the rice and that is it. Putting it to the side and we're gonna let it cool. Okay, here's the last thing you guys. This is our dessert. So you're just gonna add all the ingredients into a shaker and shake it. It is that simple. Again, ingredients are in the description. Uh, the amounts you need are also there. 
but this one is super super simple you don't have to add that there but you can that's a thickener you just shake it and then you have a really thick protein smoothie if you want to make it in your ninja creamy then feel free to do that too put it in and freeze it but that's it you guys today was super super fast all the meals were easy okay you guys that is it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you found some kind of inspiration to get creative in the kitchen because again meal preps don't need to be boring you guys add some flavor add some flair add some color get creative just make sure you're tracking your macros or not it's up to you don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content also hit the notification button that way you're notified every time i post a new video like always description will have all of your ingredients and all of the things that you need to make these meals thank you for watching thank you for stopping by and spending your day with me i will see you guys on the next video ahui ho